go ahead and get right back into it here. We start the second half of this match of this match here. Plymouth 50, Tennessee 51. It's been a close game. Nine points. It's uh, it's been the biggest lead so far. It's never been double digits. Tennessee with the ball. Opportunity to extend. Velasquez, cross court. Finds one to Goyak. Back over to Fisher near the top of the arc. Fisher starts to dribble. Crossover. Kick out. Monogoyak. Guarded by Lyme. Fisher from three. And he opens it up with a three ball. Aragon Fisher connecting there as the shot clock was dying down. This game is going to be quite the barn burner. We're already at 100 points total. Need a line from three. And that's another one. The rain continues to fall. Need a line. That was fearless. Coming out from the weak side. Cross court. Got herself open on the opposite shoulder. Right off the reception. Able to sink that one. Aragon Fisher quickly double teamed. They do not want the Otter getting that anywhere. Monogoyak able to pick up the ball. Back to Fisher. Deep Woods. Cheeto's right there, tries for the steal, but can't make connection. From 18, no good. Oh, but Paul Terranora flies in and slams down the second chance dunk. So is that the first points we've seen from PT? Oh no, that's that's I think the second or third basket we've seen where he's he's been right there, ready to jam that thing down when it bounces off the rim. That is what he is doing. He is guarding that rim beautifully. Carpenter able to make the rebound after Nina Lyme fails to connect on the 15-foot jumper. Fisher, off balance. No good. The Carpenter is there to recover it. It's stolen then. Cheeto able to strip it out of the web paws. Nina Lyme takes it. Nina from inside the arc, and she hits another one. Brings the game within one. It's Plymouth 55, Tennessee 56. Ten minutes left in the third. Velasquez. Oh, the teams are so evenly matched right now. It's it's <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Oh, if, if this Nina Lime got caught up. No good. Terranora's there though, and Terranora able to draw the foul. That was on Raul Kadane. It's his first personal. That will put the big otter at the line for another two. two Nina Lime slipped on the floor there. Always a danger when you go shoeless. And that allowed Aragon Fisher to take an open look. And it wasn't able to connect, but PT was there to gather it up. And just when you thought it was going to be another second chance bucket. Raul Kadane there able to disturb, disrupt the play, but made contact. Paul Terranora, good with the first of two. And PT, not exactly a hack-a-shack. Not a player you want to be fouling at, sitting at uh, over 70% free throw. Yeah, no, PT is a solid shooter for a big man. Definitely. He's good at the free throw line. That's always been kind of the magic of PT. Is that, but what we've been seeing the most here is how good he is at guarding the low kennel. Just being in position to pick up those second chance po points. Be able to pick up for his players when they miss those shots. Kasielenska from the baseline. No good. PT with a rebound. Quick pass to the other otter. Fisher bringing it up. Gets to the baseline for the fast break, but the defense is on top of him. He has to go back into the woods. Garbinder. Hand off to TPT. Bringing it inside. PT pushing back Kadane. But he has to get rid of it. Kick out. Wide open from very deep. That was a ridiculous shot. PT is able to make a rebound, though. And they get a fresh 24 after the crazy 40-foot shot. <laughs> Turn around. PT, one pot. It's good. Oh, PT's lighting up in the second half here. He had a very quiet first half. But Paul Terranura waking up here. That was a beautiful play there, pushing back the rookie of the year. And then the turnaround shot, hooking it over his head. And the Big Otter makes another oily splash. That, I'm sorry, that sounds wrong. It does, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Sometimes I... I, I <laughs> <laughs> you have to come up with a lot of different things to say during these games, and sometimes you, you hit something good, and sometimes you, you come up with an oily splash. Ian Pasillas coming out for uh, Barry Carpenter. See what the Gator can do. 
Fisher now takes it up. No double team on the Otter this time. Pasillas wants the ball, but no. Gives it to Monogoyak. Now Pasillas has it. Back to Fisher. Fisher from 22. No good. What? <laughs> Yet oh. again. <laughs> PT is right there to pick it up. Slam it down. And I'm sorry, I'm going to get letters. It's a crocodile, not a gator. Oh, I, boy. I, my apologies. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, they're, they're being sensitive there. Lime, no good with that three ball attempt. Fisher able to make the recovery. PT's already got a double double going. Monogoyak from three. And yet again! <laughs> I, okay, are we sure these aren't just alley oops to PT? Like they're acting like they're shooting, but this has been the third in a row. That is ridiculous. PT able to slam yet another one down after it bounces off the hoop. Swishenberger, kick out. Wolfo from three. Yes! Taproos needed that one. Yeah, they need to kill that momentum. But they, with Tennessee was hitting many in a row, and they were they were starting to increase the deficit. That was that was to eight or no, I'm sorry, that was to nine points. So it has swung the other way, and now Plymouth with that basket has uh, has gotten things back. But Terranaro once again, right where he needs to be, deep in the kennel. Unbelievable. Eve Pasias missing the fade away from the baseline, bounced off the rim, but yet again. At least, thankfully, this time he didn't slam it from the air like he had the last three. <laughs> but he did come down back onto his feet. Nina line from three. She hits one. And there's a splash from a splash sister. Nina goes up to 16 points in this game. Really amazing effort. She, she has really made herself uh, noticeable in this game. Terranura. He's on fire. Kicks it out to the smaller otter. Fisher with it. Hand off to Macias. Casillas takes a step back, then drives in, gets to the kennel, running out of time, puts up the shot. No good, but draws a foul. That was on Swishenberger, his third personal. That will put the crocodile. Yes. The, the crocodile, not the gator. Send your letters to Buck Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> at the line for two. Now, I make that mistake all the time as well. It's When you're a mammal, it's tough. Uh, I, yeah, it's, it's, they all look the same. No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> we are being recorded. Able to make the first. Makes it a six-point game. Plymouth 61, Tennessee 67. Another could make this a three-possession match. Pretorius coming out onto the floor. Also got Darius Cole, who does happen to be a gator. And he's a very big one, so I wouldn't let him hear you make that mistake. <laughs> I, 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 I will make that mistake never again. <laughs> Anik Young's also out there guarding Kasia Lenchka. Lenchka passes. Wolfoat almost got around the defense. Oh, gets around the defense that time. And Gina Wolfoat pushes his way down to the low kennel. Beautiful job getting the kiss off the glass with a hook shot. He just feathered those feathers those in. That's that that was a beautiful shot. Jung from three, but no good. Pretorius there with the rebound. Pass to Yelenchka. KY. Swishenberger. Wide open. But no good. Rasputin with a nice big, rebound from Rasputin there. Beautiful job by the big bear. Anika Jung takes it to the hoop. And Jung gets the bucket. Oh, a little slow to get up. But once she's up, she's racing her way up, <laughs> back into position. Bianca Jung, she just drove her way down the kennel. Beautiful job hitting the runner. Cheeto Pup with it. Still holding on to it, finally gets rid of it, gives it to Swishenberger. The kid, big kitty gives it back to the dog. Wolfote has to take the three. No good, not this time. Casillas with the recovery. And off to Jung. Yeah, you don't expect uh, the driving plays from the uh, the light Archaeopteryx, but uh, she is not scared of anyone on this floor. She she will completely drive to the basket, and we just saw that in the last play. Eve Pasias, turnaround hook over her scaly head. It's able to get the basket. And now it's a nine-point game. Plymouth 63, Tennessee 72. Four and a half minutes left in the third.
Yelenchka. Back to the basket, Annika Young guarding. She takes the fadeaway shot from 18. No good. Eve Pasias with the pickup. Fisher bringing it up. One to Goyak, guarded by Wolfoat. Kicks it out, Fisher. Looks like he had a moment there where he was wide open, but just a little bit too outside of his range. Decided not to take the shot. Rasputin down low. No good. Darius Cole getting his scaly hands around the ball. Has it to Lenchko, who takes it up. Wolfoat guarded by Jung. Doing a great job defending. Keeping those wings, using those feathers to block his view. Swischenberger now with it. Pretorius gets it to the kennel, but he pulls back out of the woods from 22. Not his shot. He doesn't make it that time, but he gets the rebound, and he gets the bucket, and one. Griff Rasputin with his second personal as the big lion from South Africa is able to make a big basket down low and a chance to make it a three-point play. And closing up that lead, too. They, they, they need to get some momentum here if they're going to bring it back to Tennessee because we're sitting at a seven-point game right now. Victorious puts it up. No good. Hit the back of the iron. No three-point play, but Velasquez now with it. Siegel loses it, and it rolls out of bounds. That's a turnover. Sloppy play from Jamie Velasquez. A little bit of that old dive bomber coming out. Wolfoat, bring it up. See if they can get a little momentum here. Guarded by Jung. Pass. Lime. Step to the side, takes the shot from 22, and yes, the Wolf able to get another splash. 18 points for the Limelight. 7 of 10. It seems like she shot a lot more than that, but uh, that's, you know, stats don't lie. Jung, double. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Slammed it down. Phenomenal play there as Griff Rasputin. Throws it down with authority. When you see when you see the big bear moving through there like that, you don't get in this way. Jim oh, they try to answer. No good. Beautiful job by Jamie Velasquez to break up the alley oop attempt, getting her big wing in the way and using those feathers to brush the ball off its course. Going the other way, sucking stores now at the shoulder in the triple threat. Back to Velasquez. Running, Running out, out of time. Top. Velasquez, step inside the arc. No good. But Facias is there, and Eve Facias is able to get the kiss off the glass. I guess a little bit of PT is rubbing off on the crocodile. Beautiful job by Facias to be in the right spot at the right time. And Pasillas is uh, lighting up this this half. That's uh, We didn't see a lot uh, from the first half, but yeah, definitely making a difference in the second half. Wolfoat no good with that three ball. Velasquez with a three of her own. No good either. Pretorius with the rebound. Hand off to Wolfoat. Two failed attempts. Plymouth 67, Tennessee 76. Minute and a half left in the third. Shiro Pup in the woods. Mismatch on the court though. Richter. A wide open look there for a moment, but didn't take it. Back to Wolfoat. Back to Richter. Richter wide open for three. In and out. No good. And the big bear Rasputin is there to pick it up. Five rebounds. It's uh, doing, doing great already. Stores over to Pasias. Jung, opposite shoulder. Deep woods. High arcing pass. Able to find Rasputin. Velasquez contested, and she still hits it. Beautiful, beautiful three by the Seagull. That's it. Th this, is, this is why she's on the team, right there. Th there's a great example. Tough play there. Nina Lime was defending, but was not able to get her paw in the way. Jamie Velasquez, tough shot, getting her web paws, well, I guess not really paws, web feet behind the line in the corner. Not a lot of space there, but she was able to capitalize on the possession. Plymouth calls a timeout as this suddenly becomes a 12-point game. Plymouth 67, Tennessee 79. It's it's amazing how fast momentum could change here, and, uh, and I, I would not surprise if this swings back in the other direction for a short period of time here. Ferriman, we got the, the ferret. 
bringing it in. Big inbound, finds Richter opposite side of the corner uh, of the floor. Petrorius back to the basket, turn around, tough shot, and the big lion makes a big bucket. Young bringing it up. 45 seconds left in the third. Young with it. Trying to get around the defense, but Kasia Lenchka is all over her. Going back and forth. Velasquez at the corner. Starts the dribble. Gets around the defense. Kicks it out. Young from three. Yes. Oh, sinks it. Beautiful job between the Avians there. Velasquez drawing the defense down to the low kennel but then kicking it out off the wingtips. Finds Annika Jung wide open at the shoulder, and she's able to punish them with a three. It's a six second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Yelenchka back to the basket, guarded by Jung. Cross court, tough pass, Richter opposite court, court, uh, shoulder. Fairman down low, and then wide open Pretorius is able to capitalize on the possession. Nice assist by Forcefield, getting him the ball when he needed it. Marvelous job seeing the open player. Five seconds left in the third. Shot clock turned off. Stores from three! No good. But suddenly, Tennessee is in control of this game. They've got an 11-point lead. Plymouth 71, Tennessee 82.